Prince Harrison, IFBB, an NPC promoter and owner of Optimum Fitness and Optimum Fitness Supplements. We're here in Waco, Texas at Gym X Fitness at 5701 Waco Drive. I should say West Waco Drive. And uh, I want to thank the owners of Gym X for allowing us to video here and do photo shoots. Great facility and there are a lot of dedicated pe people here on Sunday morning. But I'll tell you, when you speak of dedication, we're here with an athlete that is extremely dedicated and has accomplished some incredible things, Baron Bobino. Baron uh, is an NPC athlete who started training four years ago, and we have his trainer here. He is uh, deaf and blind, and he's competed in several shows, including the Optimum Classic, which was held in May of this year, an Optimum Fitness sponsored show and he's fresh competing in the NPC 2013 Central Texas Showdown promoted by Bob and Laura Johnson. That show took place yesterday on, on Saturday, August 31st and I'm going to let his trainer introduce himself and tell us how Baron did in that sh show. How's it going? I'm Joshua Alexis. Uh, I'm from New Iberia, Louisiana. Uh, I swear he's from as well. Uh, Baron was diagnosed with Usher's disease. Uh, Usher's disease is pretty much, he was born profoundly deaf, and then he went, later on he started to lose his eyesight. Doctor said he would never be able to see again. By the age of about 40, they wanted to say he would start losing it. Well, at his age of 16 is whenever he lost it and stuff. Uh, never stopped him, okay? Uh, he's always had a, a dream to be a bodybuilder, and. For somebody that that has this and want to pursue this and wasn't going to use any excuse, it's amazing to inspire people uh, as myself as well. You know, I met him four years ago, and uh, he came in. His family owns the health club where I, where I work now, and I saw the physique on him, and I was like, man, it's unreal. I, I heard the story of him, and I heard that he wants to be a bodybuilder. I said, well, what's what's stopping him? You know, and they were like, well, we just don't know what to do. I said, well, he's mine now. So, took him under my wing and pretty much days and nights together. I mean, just training and training and learning the poses, getting everything done. Uh, but his drive, he's one of those guys, I, I, I have clients all through the day that complain. Complain, it's too heavy, whatever, you know. It's too early, anything. Never heard one complaint, ever. Well, no matter what I put on the bar, he pushes. If he can't, he tries, until I take it off of him. So, um, just him alone has inspired me as a personal trainer. Uh, I came up with the, the fame fit idea. And what fame stands for is forget all my excuses. Because uh, every day I'd find myself want, not wanting to go to the gym or making excuses of I work too long or I'm tired. Every day I see him walk into the gym with a smile on his face knowing that he has every reason, he has every excuse not to and he chooses to pursue and do what he wants to do with nothing in his way. So I came up with the fame and I even, I, I, so I put it on my body just because I want to remind myself every day that there's no such thing as an excuse nowadays. There's nothing, okay? And by him doing the bodybuilding shows, he does them because he loves him. Is he there to win? Yes, because he's a competitor. But is he there really to inspire people, to show them that there is no excuse in life and no matter what your situation is you can always make it better so I acknowledge him for the inspiration that he gives to me and as well as everybody that that sees him and you know he can't see his body you know to appreciate it but we all can so everybody that comes up to him and tells him good job and shakes his hand it means the world to him because he lives in this world of of silence and darkness that you know it's, it's a lonely world so anybody that can that can go up to him and shake his hand and write in his hand and say congratulations a good job that's that's all the kid asks is for that's all he needs you know it means a lot to to all of us well that is great that is a great story a very inspiring story for anyone that is out there because so many of us will make excuses that like you said we're too tired or uh, we've had a, you know, a long day or whatever it might be and uh, for someone like this to pursue his dream 
is really phenomenal and extremely inspiring. Uh, a couple of things. First of all, I want to ask some questions for you. How did how did he do last night in the show, the Central Texas Showdown? Last night he placed second in the middleweight division, which was we was, he always wants that first place, you know. But always satisfied with coming home. He's got a collection of trophies that he's collecting and stuff. In every show he's done, he's done well. So it's not that it's just the inspiration factor of there and that this guy, okay, this, blind, this guy is blind and deaf, he's gone, he's doing good. But no, he has a chance to win at every show. That's what inspires everybody. It, it's different if, you, if he's just doing it to, to show people that there's no excuses, but he's a competitor. He's just like, I'm a, fi I'm a uh, physique guy. When I go to a show, I, I expect to win. If I don't, then I understand and you, you move on to it. He's the same way. He gets mad whenever he doesn't win first. He's a competitor. But at the same time, he's grateful that he comes home with some hardware just about every show he does because he has an awesome physique on him, you know. He's got one of the best genetic physiques, all natural, that anybody could ask for. There's so many guys that come to our gym and they watch him and they're like, I'd do anything for his body. You know, that's to him and all he wants to, he just wants to be able to hear them say that. You know, it's when you look at it in the perspective as his way, it's, it's completely, it's just crazy when you start to think about how he can get where he is, you know, and some guys can't even get there and they have all their sins, they have everything, nothing holding them back. Well, that, that's very, very interesting and I think it uh, shows good sportsmanship, which is extremely important. That's, you know, I train a lot of athletes and that's extremely important to exhibit. At the same time, you know, to, you want to have that hunger to win, but you're not going to always win. Anytime, if, if, especially if you're challenging yourself, you won't always win. And when you don't, then you congratulate the person who does come in first place and move forward to your next show. Now, uh, a question I have for you or a statement that you just made, and that is uh, you competed in the Optimum Classic. You won that show in physique. You have a great look. And tell me, what are your plans as far as moving forward in the sport? Well, we've been competing, me and my wife now. My wife, uh, she does bikini. She does very, very well in bikini. Uh, she had just diagnosed with, uh, she had a blood clot that they found in our neck and stuff. Uh, so she has to have surgery next month. So this year was our last year of doing all the shows we wanted to do. And then we was going to retire for a little while. Because I'm 31 years old, she's 29, expecting to have some kids. So we don't have that yet. So our game plan is to have her surgery and then try to start a little family. And then what our game plan is get back in shape and prove to the people that all have kids that say that it's not possible to be in shape because I have kids because of the excuses. We're going to come back at the age of 35 and get in the masters and blow that out of the water just to prove to everybody that there's no excuses again. Uh, we did, we started off our year this year in Pittsburgh, uh, did well in Pittsburgh, um, and then I want to say we started off with uh, the Baton Rouge uh, Red Stick Classic. She won the overall bikini. I came in fourth in that one. Uh, next show was the Louisiana, which I placed second in men's tall, uh, and she placed first. She won her division inside the Louisiana. Uh, we also had kind of hard to think back now at all the ones we did. We went to Vegas for the USA's, which was a couple weeks ago. Uh, she placed eighth. I had third call outs in mine. Uh, could expect a little bit, but you can't really be mad when you're in Vegas. So we went and had us a good time and enjoyed it and stuff. So Vegas was our last show. And uh, what I plan on doing next year, me and him, we're both going to do the Arnold Classic. Uh, I'm going to get ready and prep for that one with him. And uh, that's probably going to be my last show for a while after that one so as my plans Arnold Classic a dream of his and might as well do it while I'm gonna be there uh, and then we'll we'll call it quits till we get our family organized and then we'll get back at it. Well, that sounds great another question I have and this is something that I th thought was very fascinating because I saw this first at the show and uh, and it was actually Bowser Shitty which is right next door to Streetport and that was Aaron said, uh, you know, everybody, you know, clap, clap, clap. Yeah. And, and of course, the classic. Yeah. Yeah. Can he feel the vibration? Yes. So if, if it's loud enough, yes, he can. And, and most of the times when we would practice, when we first started our routines, everything's through timing. All the music that I do and everything through him is through the timing. When I tap him on the back, he either counts to let him know when the, 
that part of the music's kind of hard to hit that first pose. So what I would do is I would I'd take a stick and we have an aerobics floor and I would hit it on the ground to hit the vibration of it just just imitating the audience getting into it because he gets more into it when he can feel the audience you know so the more I'd pound that stick on the floor and he could feel it through his feet the more fun he would have and he would just get the crowd into it and stuff and that's what I told him whenever we do a show and stuff like this do this for the crowd dude because they're they're inspiring and we have not been to a show yet that has not gone crazy for him you know the loudest part of the show is whenever he performs and and that's what i love about it i i get excited over that um, but yes he can feel the vibration of everything as far the little the joking and stuff that he does on stage here it's just for humor he has fun with it and i told him do what you want dance if you want have fun this is your life enjoy it make the most out of it so that's our game plan every time we do a show routine is for the audience to enjoy that's that's pretty much what it is it's a show that's what your posing routine is for us for them to enjoy your body or what you've done to to show them what you you're going to showcase so every night we practice we laugh and it's it's non-stop you know it's we had one point his brother was getting married and he wanted to he came up to me and he said i want to learn how to dance because i want to dance at my brother's wedding and my first thought was you know how how is this going to happen you know and i stopped sat and i said you know what we came this far why can't why not so one night after we practiced stuff, my wife came over, we cranked up the music as loud as we can, and pretty much what we did, we grabbed his hand, got him into the rhythm, and then once we let him go, he had it. Well, for his brother's wedding, he danced the town off, and I promise you, if some people would've walked in, they'd have never thought that he was blind and deaf and could not hear this music, because he was getting to it, so. But it's just, it's little things I had to help him overcome things that he wants to do, you know? Like, it's making it part of my life, fun for me, for him to, to do that because I I can do whatever I want you know I, I'll do anything I can to help him reach his dreams his goal so it's fun and it's it's a blessing to me you know I think that's great that is a, a phenomenal and I think there'll be as you move forward with this journey there'll be more exciting things to come especially uh uh, your next your next stop on this journey of course is the Arnold oh, yeah. and that's going to be huge that's going to be huge and we plan to be there we plan to interview you all there and cover that backstage and one of the things that I'd like to I'd like to know is uh, in terms of his excitement about this this is something that he's very excited about oh, yeah. being at the Arnold oh definitely there hasn't been a day that I've met this kid that the, the name Arnold has not came out of his mouth. Whenever he was younger, he grew up in the in the health industry. His parents owned a health club, so pumping iron was around and stuff. He went blind when he was about 16, so he saw the movie Pumping Iron. Right now, he could tell you every scene of Pumping Iron, every single one of them, everything that Arnold says all the way through it. Stuff. It's every day that we work out. Whenever he does the exercise, he says that was just like Arnold. It's his dog. His name is Arnold. You know, it's his girlfriend. The other day, she said everything he talks about is Arnold. You know, it's because that's his role model. That's who he looks up to. He's, he saw you. Remember the pump and iron and the, the the way Arnold looks and the way he wants to look. You know, that's who he he playing. A lot of people that we've came in the past have looked at him and look at his facial figure and the way he works out. And everybody says, man, he resembles Arnold. And his chest is like he's got that Arnold chest. You know, and it's. And I tell him that and it, it lights up his world, you know, just to know that, you know, he's being compared to him, you know. But I promise you, that is the number one goal, number one dream that this kid, he went, Arnold has a restaurant in, in LA, in California. And so said Arnold was gonna be there. They waited like six hours at the restaurant waiting for him, but he ended up not, not showing, not going or whatever. They just wanted a way to start that he might be coming in and six hours he would wait he would wait a lifetime to meet this guy so if that would be possible just to shake his hand and let him just shake the, his mentor's hand the, the person that he's looked up to his whole life would mean the world to him not also to him but to his mom his dad you know and another thing his mom and his dad the lifestyle that they have to live i give so much credit to them just on a on everyday basis you know it's it's a it's a day-by-day, day, not a job, I want to say, but it's, to me, it's, it's unreal, the things that they have to 
it's not the simple life. It's not simple at all, you know, and it's been like this for 34 years. But I get my hats off to them 100% to watch what they've done with him already as a man, you know, to grow him up as a man. Uh, so they definitely should be doing this interview too, you know, because they definitely, definitely, it's, it's a nonstop, it's nonstop with them. Well, that is, that is fantastic. Well, before we wrap this interview up, is there anything you would like to convey to the audience? I just wanna want y'all to check out, you know, if y'all see this video and stuff and spread it around, spread, spread the word, you know, that there's inspiration out there. Uh, he's an example of it, that there's no excuses. Uh, everybody likes to make excuses. It's easy to make excuses. But the easy way is not the way to do things. His whole life has been difficult. He struggled his whole life, but he's, everything that he's ever wanted to do, he's done. He's graduated high school, he's graduated college, he's now an NPC uh, bodybuilder, he's going to the Arnold Classic. There's nothing that if you set your mind to that you can't do. So all I can say is, is follow your dreams, let him be an inspiration to everybody, whether you have an impairment or not. You know, like I said myself, it, it's, it's hard to get motivated. Watch this video. I promise you, if you're not motivated after this video, then, then you're right. There's, there's no hope. <laughs> so, but other than that, we want to thank everybody. We want to thank you all for doing this for him. Uh, the NPC, everybody. So, thanks for everybody. Thanks very much. Very well said. And on that note, I want to just uh, wrap up with a few comments. Number one, this is the greatest example that I've ever seen of what I've told people for years, and that is this is a team sport. Y'all are a team. Y'all are a team. I mean, and credit, much credit needs to be given to you. You've done some incredible now, things. We also have a website. If you go to it's team here, no evil, see no evil .com. Uh, and it has his story. Uh, it has everything on there. So if they want to check that out, they can read the entire story from, from the beginning. So, and hopefully we can end that story with that on a classic and a, a good outcome there. That'll be great. So check that out. Check the video out on Facebook, YouTube, Optimum Fitness site, MuscleFlexClips.com. That's where it will be distributed. And as I said, this is a team sport. You are the leader of that team and you have certainly done great things and I'm sure that that his parents and he's very appreciative and I know it's been a great experience for you too you've gained you've been an awesome journey for you and will continue the other thing is his parents are part of that part of that team so anyone that is successful in this sport you have to have a team behind you a team that you work with and I would be remiss in not mentioning our upcoming show, the 2013 NPC Heart of Texas, which will be held on September 14th at the Fair Park Music Hall, the State Fairgrounds in Dallas, Texas. Come out and support the athletes, support the NPC, and support our vendors. This is Prince Harrison for Optimum Fitness. I want to also, if you'll let him know, we really thank him for the interview, to shake his hand. Thank you, thank you. And would you do a front double bicep for us? Great, look at those guns. <laughs> thank you very much. This is Prince Harrison with the Optimum Fitness Channel. Stay tuned. Thank you all so much. Hey.